I'm here with my friend and podcast extraordinaire, Mike DeChocho, the founder and president of Social Chameleon. He helps us out with my podcast, and he's here to answer the question, Mike, which financial decision has had the greatest impact in your life? Hey, man. First of all, thank you so much for having me on and just taking the time out of your day to talk with me. Um, look, you know, we were joking a little bit before you pressed record about having, you know, having it all figured out. Let's be real. I'm a young entrepreneur. I started my business about four years ago. I'm not even close to having that all figured out. What I can say, though, is when I've seen improvements in the, on the financial side of business is when I started to focus on it more. So I can tell you, think of it, guys, whether you're or gals, whether you're at the gym and you're focused on like, you know, you want you want that six, six pack abs, right? Imagine getting yourself out of bed on time every day, going to the gym, focusing in on that muscle group. And that's all you do for six months, right? For an hour, five days out of the week, you focus on that. Do you think results will follow? Of course. So with financials, the thing that mistake I was making was I was putting it out of sight, out of mind. So when I knew things weren't going as well, I mentally didn't want it to distract me. I didn't want it to bring me down, just like a bad relationship. If something's wrong, a lot of times people just hide from it. They go in their two corners of the house. What eventually happens? Problems happen, right? You're not fixing them if you're putting them in two separate locations. Like That's why I never thought that time is a great thing for like, oh, we're just taking some time away. Time is going to create all kinds of wedges that are going to come in there. Some of them become permanent. So with financial financial planning, you know, working with someone like three six nine yourself, your team, um, what what you do is you focus on it. You have to know what the enemy looks like before you can defeat it. And if you're just like, yeah, a couple times a month, this is going to zap my account. That zaps my account. I know I'm getting kind of close to being just above wall, surface level. I'm breathing. I'm alive. I'm everything's good. But you don't even know when it's hitting, how much the amount is, right? Like what your game plan looks like, your your chances of success are almost nothing because you really don't know what you're after. And once you, like it's that water, think of that situation like a pool. I know you're shaking your head. I know you get this. Like I'm always in the mindset of more offense, right? Just keep playing offense, keep making more sales. It's great. I was reading all Grant Cardone's books and admittingly, I love a lot of what he says and some of the things he says I don't agree with. That's the beauty of reading a book. You don't have to love every word on every page, but I've taken some of his core principles and applied it to myself and it's helped me. But the one thing that was lacking in a lot of what I was reading is it was all offense based. So if your business is like a swimming pool with holes in it, you can keep pouring water into it, but eventually that water is going to come out some way. And until you figure out those patches, those financial patches, work with Josh and his team or whoever that might be. Uh, reading books like Profit First is something I'm focusing on right now. You got to have systems in place, number one, and then you got to actually follow them. Like having a paying a trainer or paying a gym membership isn't the total solution. It's a start. You got to show up and do the work. So I don't have all my financial stuff figured out quite yet. I'm much better today than four years ago. And if I can speak on it, that's what I would say is focus on it, identify it create a plan, take action.